Okay, so what's the point? Why should your fight game improve low attacks? What the hell was that? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? That didn't sound right. I what I should have said is, why should your fight game include low attacks? I'm gonna get on with the video anyway. Look, the idea is quite simple. If you attack high, what you're essentially doing is drawing attention, drawing distraction to a high post. So if you watch when the strike comes in, it doesn't matter what it is. So to throw a lead punch and I'm gonna intercept. If I intercept here and I hit, what I'm doing is I'm essentially bringing his attention high. With his tensions high, it gives me the ability to switch my weapons low. So if you watch, when I'm doing something here, I can knee with the back of the leg and I can stamp onto the foot. It's also good to do this because, quite simply because, as the punch comes in, boom, boom, I can stamp. And these stamping actions always leave the guy open because at close range, one, two, three, really hard for him to see it. He can't see it. And the reason why he can't see it is because I'm keeping him busy in the fight. Throw haymakers, do something, and boom. Go again, boom. The fight's up here. And where the fight's up here, one, two, three, boom, boom. Sorry, that did hurt, didn't it? I'm sorry. The fight's up here, and where it's up here, and you saw that it was stamped with the heel of the foot, okay, onto the toes, the webbing of the toes. So it's here. When I do that, bang, it distracts him. So why should you include low attacks? Because you keep the guy busy high, you drive in low, at such a close quarter range of fighting, it's really hard to see the attacks. So, train it, be happy. <laughs> see you later.